go ahead. Not too bad. Another thing, exciting thing that happened this year is I had a student um, order a um, eBay fuel injection kit for his motorcycle, an XT350, and we converted it at the university. And I got a little bit of video of that. And in the new house, I'll be setting up the chassis dyno permanently. And then I invited him once that's done. Um, and once he's got some little bit of fabrication finished up on it to bring it up and we'll spend some time dyno tuning it and testing it. And we'll probably go dirt biking after. So <clears throat> lots of exciting stuff coming. Um, stay tuned. Probably kill it. Don't have an exhaust hose on or anything. Do you want to uh, tell us what you got going on here, Xander? Uh, this is an 86 XT350. Bought it for cheap and had a car and decided to do a fuel injection on it. <clears throat> so, bought a cheap kit off of eBay, uh, two throttle bodies. I can get in there. Yeah. <clears throat> um, with injectors and came with an ECU and fuel pump. ECU right there. Fuel, fuel, fuel pump down here with a pressure regular built in. To the, and then what is this thing we had to build? Um, so, we had to build a swirl pot because the fuel pump <clears throat> has a return line and didn't much feel like tapping into a plastic gas tank to do so. And the swirl pot usually helps get the air out of the air fuel as well, right? Yeah, <clears throat> so this is full of fuel right now. There's a couple of air bubbles in here. Still, yeah, but. still working them out. What about uh, this? What's that right there? Uh, so that's the temperature sensor for the ECU. Um, just so, kind of bolted it on. So it knows some, some what of a, the engine temperature um, from the cylinder heads, so that's a good thing. Yeah. What are some of the other sensors that are involved? Uh, so we just <clears throat> welded on an O2 sensor on this side. Uh, and we tapped into the crank position sensor on the flywheel. Um, and what did we have to do with the flywheel to get that to work? Oh yeah, so there's two <laughs> magnets on the flywheel. I had to grind one of them off. Two little metal tabs, actually. Yeah. We uh, had to grind, cut one off to make it work. Because it was really double pulse. <clears throat> yeah. So we had to take one off so we had a single pulse. And then uh, we also had to spend some time setting up the trigger offset as well. <clears throat> so the timing would actually know where zero was correctly. And did you break anything in the process? We broke the uh, kickstart shaft. Yeah. Backfired. <clears throat> kick back a couple times but it's running pretty good so far so hopefully soon we can put a little dyno video together and add a, all those together anything else you want to talk about for <clears throat> oh yeah it's got a yz420 or 450 yzf450 front end on it now so that's pretty exciting actually might be somewhat rideable when it's done yeah. nice Not bad for the first ride. Not bad. He hasn't done any tuning, like uh, we haven't been able to get to the dyno. Doesn't sound bad on D cell either. 